If you need some coins to add some ballers to your team, make sure you go ahead and check out mudreserve.com. Fast service, great rates, no need to rely on pack luck. Get yourself some coins, buy the players you want, use code SPREE at checkout for 15% off. What's going on everybody? Hope you're all having another fantastic day today. You can call me Spree and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to go ahead and break down a little bit of a guide to sniping in Madden 21. Now methods come and go throughout the year. I posted one yesterday that has been really, really profitable. I hope you went ahead and checked that out. But sniping, sniping is available throughout the entire year. There are a few basic rules to it, but if you can follow them and you understand what you're trying to do, you can make a lot of coins really, really easily, help you building up your team. If you like tips, coin making methods, gameplays, breakdowns, all the above, definitely consider popping down, hitting that subscribe button down below. If you like the video, like the video as well, yeah. Go ahead, hit that like button if you enjoy what you see. All right, getting into it. Today's video is gonna be very similar to yesterday's, unedited, unfiltered. I think that's gonna be the best way to illustrate everything with sniping, so bear with me. It might be a little bit rough, but I promise you will get something out of this. Now, sniping is all about picking up cards cheaply, selling them for a profit. There's a couple different ways people do it. You can go for the big snipes, Try to pick up Tyreek Hill for 1,000 coins, 250 coins, Aaron Donalds of the world, all those kinds of cards. Sometimes you'll get an opportunity to get a big boy snipe like that. You're gonna make mega bank and you're gonna have a lot of fun. It's gonna be really, really fun to do. But the more profitable, the more efficient, the more realistic way of sniping is going ahead and picking up cards cheaply and then selling them for a profit. Even if you're making a thousand coins, 1500 coins, if you're selling lots of cards, you sell 50 cards, 100 cards, 200 plus cards, you're gonna be making mega bank, you're gonna be able to upgrade your team. So that's kind of what we're gonna be aiming towards today. Now, I will say as we start to look at our first step in sniping, I'm not going to stick with this the entire way. And by that, I mean, I'm not going to just keep looking for cards to snipe. I think we're going to be able to talk about the principles. You're gonna get a good feel for sniping and that's gonna be enough. I'm not gonna to have to go ahead and find dozens of snipes just to show you it working, hopefully. Hopefully you get to see it in practice and we'll be able to pick up a few cards, but if we don't, hey, it's not the end of the world. I think you'll have enough to go out there and make a bunch of coins. So step one of sniping, you need to know the market. You need to know what cards are going for and what card, what amount of coins you can sell cards for. Now, I know I've been looking at 80 to 81s a lot recently. If you've checked out my video yesterday, I used these for the team builder sets as part of the coin making method. I like sniping these cards and building up those sets really cheaply as well. So there's a couple ways you can go ahead and do this, but you need to know what these cards are worth. Now I know they're worth around 15,000, 1500 coins. I know that because I can go between a whole bunch of positions within this overall group. And you can see cards selling for about this price. So we could sit here for a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if some of these cards actually sell. So the first step is always going ahead and knowing what the market is worth. From there, you obviously need to decide how much you want to sell cards for and how much profit you want to make. So I'm going to sell cards for 15,500. That is going to be around 14,000 coins after tax. So I'm looking for cards around 13,000 coins or cheaper in this particular overall group. Now there are some cards like these legends, like some particular cards, Darren Waller for example, who have a different value to the rest of these overalls. Those guys, you have to have a better understanding of what a good price is for them, and that's just something you'll get a feel for as you snipe. So we're looking for cards 13K or below. Those are the cards that we're gonna be able to make profit from. What I like to do is go to newest. Newest works really well. We want this filter to be as short a time as possible, the shortest possible time the card has been on the block. Now, to illustrate that, let's go to QBs. And QBs filter this down nice and easily. So right there, there's a lot of cards on the block as QBs right there. 55 minutes is not what we want to be doing. We want to see 59 minutes. 59 minutes is good right there. 59 minutes is great. You can see 13.8, these prices, they're new, which means I have no doubt people will be trying to pick up these cards. We're not going to be able to make profit from this from selling it for 15.5, maybe a couple hundred coins. But if you're going ahead and doing some of those sets, that could be a good price to buy it at so you could sell the card that you build up. Let's try another position, see if we can get something here. 14.6, yeah, not too bad, not too bad. As you can see, the process is very simple. It's just rotating through positions 
and trying to find good prices. 13,650. You can see we're getting closer and closer to prices that we like. Sometimes you'll be able to come into a particular position or a team and we'll we can dive onto the teams. We'll try one more after defensive tackle if there's no good prices here. No good prices here. Let's go to, how about the kickers? Got any good value kickers right now? Anything 14.6, couple 14.6s, okay. So positions is a good way you can find cards with pretty good value. The other way that I like to do is go by teams. Now I like going down to the bottom of the list and then working my way back up. It just makes sense to me. But as you can see, we're getting pretty short times. 58 minutes isn't too bad. We wanna be seeing 59 minutes. Let's move over to the tight ends. 16K, 15, 350. So this is what we want to be seeing. We're looking for cards and we're trying to slide them and we're trying to get them for the best price possible. Now, you can do this for any overall. I like 80s to 81s. It's going to be good for people with smaller budgets. Now, even though I have a decent amount of coins and I have a bunch of cards on the block at the moment, I like doing this because I have a lot of options with these cards. But maybe you want to go ahead and do high overalls. Maybe 82s to 83s, 84s, 85s. Those different... Uh, overalls can be really lucrative as well definitely try out different things definitely try out things that might work for you so obviously we're not getting much luck it's a shame that we haven't even been able to see one card that I'd actually be willing to pick up right now what was the cheapest we've found 13.6 maybe I'm hoping I'm hoping we'll be able to at least get something that that we can see I don't want to spend too much time like I said but I think this is going to 20 Okay, maybe not. Now, one of the other things about sniping is it's gonna be better at different times of the week. When new promos drop, when new cards drop with legions, for example, each week, cards are gonna go down in price because a lot of people are opening packs. And the thing about sniping is it has a reliance on cards, on people just not understanding the value of their cards. They're underselling them because they want the coins quickly and you're capitalizing on that by buying them cheaply and then obviously making profit. So, Right here, as you can see, we're not actually finding any good value pickups, which is definitely a shame. Um, but I think you guys have a good feel for what sniping is like, what it's going, what you're going to be able to do. I will show you a quick little refresh trick that I like to do. So let's go back to Washington. 13,350, that is so close to being a good price. Now, if you find a filter that works for you, I've, I've been on filters sometimes, maybe, Maybe once a day where you'll go on and there's a bunch of cards that are constantly popping up for a really good price. What you can go ahead and do is you can just go into cap value, click all, and that's actually going to give you the newest cards that just popped up. Now, as you can see, that card that I was looking at just before got sold. But as you can see, we're getting some new cards popping up every single time we do this. And this is a good way to just filter and refresh the current set of cards that you've got if, you like, if you're liking what you're seeing, right? Um, we're gonna try one more time Let's try Packers. I think these guys have kickers. We don't like kickers man I don't know who is going to give me a card that I want to be able to pick up Chiefs Chiefs There we go asking you shall receive Can we get it? Yeah, baby 11 to 50 right if we sell them for 15 5 it's gonna be about 1300 after tax so let's quickly drop out I'll show you what it, what you should be doing when you're selling these cards. There's a couple things to think about, and I know, oh, as you can see, see my coin making method. Uh, we're selling a lot of these cards, getting some good prices. You wanna make coins, make sure you go check out that last video. Uh, so, so dang lucrative. But I wanna jump into the uh, my item binder and quickly show you selling this card, because this is an important step. And I think some people get caught up with it and don't quite understand what they're doing. So. We know that we bought this card for 11 to 50. I wanna sell this card for 15K. Right there. So after tax, about 14K. We're gonna make almost 3,000 coins from that. That's, that's really good profit right there. The important thing is right here, one hour. As you could see, cards that were one hour or less, they kept popping up when I was looking at newest. When we were looking at buy now, so those were the cards that were actually getting shown up. You want to do one hour, even if you have to put these cards back up on the block. Sometimes they won't sell the first time, maybe they'll sell the second time or the third time. 
You want these cards to be on the block for the shortest period of time because then more people are going to see them. That's just a general trick that you'll learn and you'll notice. Being honest, that's probably going to be enough of a basic guide for you to get out there and start sniping. Now, we didn't look at it too much, but you have a few filters and a few principles to follow. Make sure you know the market, know how much you want to sell the cards for, and make sure you know filters that are going to give you nice, specific options so you can pick up the nice, cheap prices. You can do this with any promo. You can do this with any cards. You can go for Legends. You can go for high overalls, you go for power-ups, whatever works for you. I think this is a good basic guide. If you enjoy this kind of video, if you want to see me sniping more, maybe a 15-20 minute video of me just going ahead and sniping, trying to make as many coins as possible, let me know down in the comment section below. I really enjoy these kind of videos where I can share some of the things that I've picked up playing Madden. I know some people are new, I know some people have been playing for a while and maybe not have the best feel for these kind of things, so I'm happy to help. If you have any suggestions for other things that you'd like me to share, maybe break down a little bit more, let me know down in the comment section below as well. Before we finish up today, definitely go ahead and check out my last video. I want everyone making coins, keep making bank, everyone can eat doing these kinds of methods. Go ahead, build up your stack, make sure you're making a bunch of coins. If you haven't already, go ahead, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. It does help me a lot. I really do appreciate it. But yeah, we are going to finish up there, folks. Thank you very much for coming through. I hope this helped. I know this was short. I know it wasn't the most in-depth breakdown, but hopefully we did enough to kind of show you how easy it is to start sniping. Take it easy, everyone. You can call me Spree, and we out.